Okay, for this project, I'm going to use Caron Simply Soft. But I think any yarn will work fine. And I'm going to be using a size H. It is a 5 millimeter crochet hook. And you want to start with a slip knot on your hook. Or you could use the magic circle too if you want to do that. I'm going to start with a chain of four and then slip stitch into the first to form a ring. And then I'm going to chain three, which is going to count as a double crochet. And then I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to go through the center of the ring and do 11 more double crochets. So counting that chain three, I'll have a total of 12 double crochets. And I'm working on them all through the center of the ring. Okay, once you got your 12, counting that chain three. You can usually pull this tail and make that center circle a little bit smaller, but you could always use a magic circle too. We want to slip stitch into the first, to that chain three, like that. Okay, now I'm going to chain one. I'm going to go into the same stitch that I just slip stitched into and do a single crochet. And then I'm going to go into the next stitch right here. Sometimes it gets looking funny, but right here and do another single crochet. I'm making the body part now. And I'm going to chain one and turn. And the chain ones are not going to count as a stitch. They're not going to count as anything. Sometimes they count as a stitch, but they're not. So I'm going to go right into the first stitch. And I'm going to put two single crochets in it. And then I'm going to go to the next one and I'm going to put two single crochets in it. I'm going to chain one and turn. Okay, now I'm going to put one single crochet in each stitch across, starting with the very, very first spot right here. One single crochet in each stitch. Now I'm going to chain one and turn, and now I'm going to put two double crochets in the very, very first stitch, two, and then one single, cro one single crochet in each stitch across until I get to the last stitch, and in the last stitch I'm going to put two single crochets chain one and turn and now I'm not going to do any increases this row when I put two single crochets in a stitch that's an increase so I did an increase row that row now this row I'm just going to put one single crochet in every stitch Then I'm going to chain one and turn. Now this row will be an increase row. That's where I'll put two single crochets in the very first stitch and two single crochets in the very last. And then one single crochet in every stitch in between. So I'm putting one single crochet in each stitch across until I get to the last stitch. And that's where I'll put two single crochets. Okay, then I'm going to chain one and turn. 
This next row will not be an increase row, so I'm just going to put one single crochet in every stitch across. Make sure you're going in the very first stitch. One in each stitch. Chain one and turn. Now this row will be an increase row. In the very first stitch I'll put two single crochets and then one single crochet in each stitch across until I get to the last stitch. In the last stitch we'll have two single crochets. Two in my last one here. Okay, chain one and turn. The next row will not be an increase row, so I'm just going to put one single crochet in every stitch across. Okay, the next row is going to be the increase row. Chain one and turn. We'll put two single crochets in the very first stitch. One single crochet in each stitch all the way across until we get to the last stitch. And the last stitch will have two single crochets in it. Two in my last one. And I'm going to chain one and turn. Now this was my tenth row and I, it was an increase row. So instead of just doing one single crochet in every stitch, I'm going to do I did a chain one and turn. I'm going to do two more chains for a total of chain three. And I'm going to make this an increase row again, but I'm going to do it with double crochets. So this chain three counts as our first double crochet. So we go back into the exact same stitch and do another. Because I'm doing, even though this was an increase row, I'm making this one one two. And then I'm going to put one double crochet and double crochets. Every stitch across until I get to the last stitch and that will be two double crochets. Now if you wanted to make this bigger than this you could just keep uh, repeating the rows and it'll just keep getting wider of single crochet and then when you get it wide enough that's when you put your row a double at the end. Okay, I'm at the end here in my last stitch. I want to make sure I do two double crochets in my last stitch. The double crochet row at the end will be the, will be an increase row even though the, the row before it was one two. Like that. So I'm going to go ahead and um, tie this off. Okay, I'm going to do one more thing down here at the end, just to make it a little fancy. I'm going to do a chain 2 and turn. That chain 2 is going to count as a half double crochet. So I'm going to go back into the same exact stitch, this one, and do another half double crochet. So that's like having two half double crochets in the same stitch. And I'm going to do a single crochet in that same stitch. I'm going to skip one stitch. And in the one next one, I'm going to do two half doubles and a single crochet. Skip one, and in the next one, two half doubles and a single crochet. If you want yours to be, you don't have to do this. If you want it to be like a little cleaner at the bottom, that's fine. Skip a stitch two half doubles and a single crochet. 
all on the same stitch. Skip a stitch, two half doubles, and a single. Just do this into the end, repeat this pattern to the end, and then I'm going to go ahead and tie off and hide my tails. Okay, now I'm going to make a wing. I'm going to set that to the side. Two wings. I'm going to start with the slip knot, and I'm going to leave a longer tail so I can sew it on later. I'm going to start with a chain of four. And then I'm going to go back into the very first stitch and do three double crochets all into the same stitch. That's one. Two. And three. So there's three in there, and then counting this chain here on the end that we made, that's four double crochets. Then you want to chain three and turn. And I'm going to go back into the very same stitch and put another double crochet. I want to work my way across putting two double crochets in every stitch. So two in each one. It's giving me some trouble. There we go. And you want to make sure that you're going into this chain too and doing a doing two doubles on the top of this chain. Otherwise it'll look funny. It won't line out right. So two doubles in that stitch. Okay. And then we'll chain three and turn. Now we're going to go back into the exact same stitch and do another double crochet. And then we're just going to put one double in each stitch across until we get to the last stitch. And that's where we'll put two doubles in. And that last stitch is going to be a chain three. So make sure you go into it. Put two doubles in that last one. Okay, and then you can go ahead and tie off and hide this one tail. You need to make two of these. I already have another one here. But we'll sew them on here. So I'm going to hide this one tail and this long tail that I started with in the beginning. That's what I'll sew it on with. Let's go ahead and weave it in here a couple times. Now you can sew them in the front or the back. I'm going to sew them in the back. So go ahead and just use your yarn needle to sew them on. Oh. Let's put them about, line them up to about where you want them on the back here. And sew them on. Like I said, you can put them on the front or the back. Either one's fine. And then just take your yarn needle. Put a few stitches in them to hold them. Just keep, you just sew them on until you feel like it's tight enough. It's not going to come off. You want to do that to both of them. Once you get your wings sewed on, I have a little bow I made out of some ribbon. And this is, you don't have to do this, but I'm just going to put a little hot glue on it and glue it right here. And then 
think that I'll be done with my my angel right on here. And that's it. That's all I'm going to do. I hope that you were able to follow along okay. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And please don't forget to check me out on Facebook. And until next time, have a good day.